we have gone as an industry from creating static experiences where it's just like, oh, wow, thank you. And that's the end of the story to creating aesthetic experiences. So the story would stop when we created ecstatic experiences for, for a promotional item, for example. And now we're creating these aesthetic experiences that can be welcome in the home and can become a part of your life. Our industry has really stepped up in terms of its creativity it's because we're all spending the time to make sure that when something shows up at my house, it's it really hits it out of the park. This became a living truth over the past year, and that is that what we sell is an opportunity for an, an emotional transaction to occur. So for example, when employees were suddenly working from homes and businesses were trying to scramble and culture was sort of somewhat decimated as we knew it, the merchandise at this point became an emotional connection. It said something different. It said, you're important to us. We value you. We're still together, despite the fact that we can't be together. It, it elevated the possibilities of what we can do by creating real value through this exchange. And we were really nervous about how a virtual experience was going to truly connect people, given that we couldn't be together. You know, it's not just a common ski story, it's an industry story. I don't think that any one of us would have predicted how impactful promotional products would have been during the pandemic as something to bring people together. They are literally the only physical connection point that we have at this event that all of us share. We can't be together. We can't hug each other. We can't high five each other. We can't shake one another's hands. But in effect, promotional products are the true unifying factor. And that's really exciting and humbling as someone in the promotional products industry to play a role.